So now we uh, are going to start talking about the energy balance equation and we'll put everything together. So the, the uh, principle that we build our equation on, what we said before, is the conservation of energy. And um, in, um, in, uh, in our case, we are talking about the uh, different forms of energy. Uh, we have first to set a control volume and the general equation should be that uh, it's very similar to the conservation of mass that we said that mass in minus mass out plus mass generated minus mass consumed equals the accumulated mass so this is the same thing here but we were talking about energy instead of mass so it's the energy input plus energy generated minus energy output minus energy consumed equals the energy accumulated so this is the general form of the conservation of energy uh, equation so um, when we talk about first we will talk about the closed systems because they're easier so in case of closed systems we have no uh, or the terms of generation and consumption will cancel each other because we say that energy is neither created nor uh, uh, nor destroyed uh, so uh, if we have a generation it means that the, the energy generated is due to the consumed or, or of energy consumed in, in from other source so the generation and consumption are going to be um, equal so they will cancel each other so the energy generation uh, equals to the energy consumption um, for the uh, uh, open system for closed systems we said that there is no flow of mass but we we said that there could be a flow of energy so we said there might be heat there might be work so in the case of closed systems the the energy input and energy output are not zero so there is no contradiction between having energy in and out and being a closed system so the equation will end up to be the energy input minus energy output equals the energy accumulated so this is very very simple case um, so the energy input and output is what goes in to the system or out uh, of the system um, uh, which we said before would be in the forms of work or um, uh, or heat and the energy accumulation would be the, the increase or decrease of energy of the system, which has three forms, either the kinetic potential or internal energy. So this is the, um, the final uh, form or the, the form of the equation. And we said that the, uh, the energy transferred to the system, which is the, the left hand side of the equation, is the work or Q. This is the uh, the forms of energy that can transfer into the system, and the accumulation of energy is the final energy minus the initial energy. Again, keep in mind that this is um, a closed system, so it will, by definition, be um, an unsteady state system. Um, so there is change with time. So there is an initial state and a final state, and uh, the difference between them is uh, is the accumulation. Um, so let's say just to 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 clarify this let's say we have a closed system and it has total energy of 300 joules let's say we were able to calculate the energy of the system and found it to be 300 joules so the uh, the uh, energy or the system gained some energy and lost some energy the energy gained by the system was in forms of q and work is 100 joules and it lost energy um, uh, which are equal to 35 joules so can we tell how much energy in the system uh, after the, the these changes so this is very simple it's it started with 300 it gained 100 and lost 35 so the uh, net energy transferred to the system is the summation of energy in minus summation of en energy out the energy in is 100 minus energy out which is 35 so the net energy transferred to the system is 65 joules which is the difference between these two uh, these two quantities and um, this this is um, again let's let's go back to the equation this is the energy input minus energy output and it's equal to the accumulation so from this we can um, we can see what is the accumulation accumulation is the final energy minus the initial energy we have the initial energy is 300 so we can substitute with uh, final energy uh, system energy minus 300 equals the um, the accumulation which is 65 so it's going to be 365 joules this this equation or, or example is very very simple very straightforward so so um, it's not difficult um, to to get it without even going through all these steps but i want to go through the steps just to clarify what we mean by each one of them um, so now we understand i hope this this makes it easier for us to understand what we mean by the initial energy what we mean by the final energy what we mean by the energy going to the system the energy um, uh, 
output or uh, going out of the system. So for, for a closed system, this is the equation, the net energy equals the final uh, energy minus initial energy, and we can write them uh, in a more detailed mathematical way. So we know that the energy of the system can, or take one of the three forms, the um, or the combination of three, internal, kinetic, and potential energy. So we have this for the final and the initial. I will give um, the subscript I for the initial, the subscript F for the final. So, um, and the energy transfer to the system is Q plus work. So U final minus U initial plus EK final minus EK initial plus the potential final minus potential energy initial equals Q plus work. This is the final equation, which can be rewritten in more simplified way by writing the, it at delta, as delta. So delta is the final minus initial uh, internal energy, kinetic potential energy equals Q plus work. So this is the... Uh, the the final form of the or the general form of the um, uh, energy balance equations for closed systems. Uh, this is uh, in general in our uh, at least in our chemical engineering applications, closed systems are not very common. Uh, but this is um, sometimes we we face uh, systems like like this. Um, but this is going to be very very useful because uh, we will build. Uh, the, the the derivation of the uh, energy balance equation for open systems on um, on what we got from this equation. So even if we don't use this equation a lot, this is going to be very useful for the open system, which is the very very common case that we deal with in our in, uh, chemical engineering applications. So uh, next time, inshallah, we will start with the uh, discussion uh, of these terms in more details. We went through them before. <clears throat> but uh, we want to go into uh, more details uh, about these terms um, and then we will see how to go from here to the open systems. Inshallah. So see you next time. Inshallah. Goodbye.